For any pole protector or post guard project, we recommend using protective eye gear as well as work gloves. When installing the post guards over the ballards in any parking lot, what we're looking for most is uniformity of height. Whatever number that is, is the number you're going to use as your base to cut the post guards. But we want to add two inches to that number. The reason we want to add two inches is that on the tops of many of these posts, there's concrete filling or other obstructions that could be a problem when sliding the post guard down over the ballard. So for these particular ballards, the highest ballard was 50 inches. We're going to add two inches to that number and make the cut of each of our post guards 52 inches. These post guards came at a length of 76 and 3 8 inches. We want the post guards to be 52 inches in length. We're going to measure from the bottom and mark where the post guards will be 52 inches in length. Measure from the bottom and not from the crown. Once you have this mark, use a saw to cut the post guard. You want a saw that gives you the cleanest cut. Once you make this cut, clean up the bottom. We want these to look professional. Some ballards will come clean and will be very easy to slide the post guards over. Now we're going to stop here for one minute. In the image you will see two pieces of foam that go on top of the bollard. The post guard goes over the bollard and the foam. Walmart specifically has requested not to use foam. The post guard will go over the bollard without the foam. There will be no foam in your delivery. For more detailed information on this, please see the Walmart bollard cover installation specs. They can be located in the measuring guide and data collection tables portion of the Walmart pole protector and bollard cover program packet that you are required to read and print. So again, as we use the post guard to cover the bollard, you will not be using any foam. Before you put the post guard on the bollard, look at the seam and make sure it is lined up in the direction in which you want. Now push the post guard down over the bollard. Some ballards come with steel poles in them and signs. We need to take the signs off and we need to slide the post guard over the post and the pole. So the first thing we're gonna do in this situation is cut a hole in the top of the post guard. We're going to use a hole saw. Typical holes that we cut have a diameter of two to three inches. We don't want this to be a snug fit. We wanna give some clearance because many times the poles that are in these concrete ballards are not centered. So you want to give yourself enough space to slide the post guard over the post and the pole without any obstruction. Using the hole saw, start slowly. Once you hit the post guard, you can speed up. Let the machine do the work and take your time. Look for a clean cut. Now we need to take the sign off the pole. This particular pole has been tech screwed, so all we have to do is take the screw out. In some situations, you will find signs riveted to the pole. Our suggestion is to drill the rivet out. Once you drill the rivet out, we will often use self-tapping screws to reset the sign to the pole. Regardless of the connection to the bolt to the sign, it is your responsibility to get the sign off, and once you have the post guard on, to reset that sign on the pole. Once you have the sign taken off, it's time to put the post guard over the ballard. Each post guard comes with two pieces of foam. You're going to wrap the foam around the ballard like this. If it's a really snug fit, you can get away with using one piece of foam. We recommend two. Once the foam is in place, it's time to put the post guard over the ballard in the pole. Using a ladder, Go up over the pole and slide the post guard down. Before you put the post guard on the ballard, look at the seam and make sure it is lined up in the direction in which you want. Now push the post guard down over the ballard. And there it is. You've installed a post guard over a ballard 
that has a sign.